this where this is where things might get a little bit scarier for Armel. He's going to be very cautious about this inch. Yeah, you mentioned it the last time you saw this. They start dominating early on. They'll get the TP in from Januel. Watch the it's hurricane. Long. Watch the hurricane, Armel. Pushback is there. Boom. Not actually going to go for it. In fact, Armel going to make the jump in. Boom. Does he have the damage? Yeah, he does. First blood is up for the Ember. Januel could not help out. In fact, Januel needs help right now. That Wild Ring Ripper is on the chase, and Boom gets a double. Oh, it's a disaster already for Fnatic in the mid lane. Makes this lane hellish for Jabs. He's just stuck in the tree line. Diracho has a free lane. 39 to 8. I mean, this is just free farm and Monkey King, and Jabs isn't even finding that many levels for his trouble here. He doesn't really survive again. There you go. Genuel does pick him off this time. His pot lane. Jabs going to be chased down. Diracho with the Boundless, but the Kraken immediately purchases it off as Jabs, trying to juke them out. Twinkle Toes here on the Tide Hunter, but maybe not quite enough as Diracho is going to be able to pick up another kill. And they do have level 6 already up in Diracho, but it's doubtful you see Monkey can go early on. Gun tried to make a play on him. Diracio zips out. Armel getting a lot of damage off. The Remnant's doing a hell of a lot as Diracio will get the Nightmare with the Boundless. He has Jingu now. Maybe he can fight back. Armel not giving up. Diracio eventually is going to drop his tofu. Boom just takes mid. So the objective does fall. The jungle's just going to be constantly invaded by Celery. He does get caught out here. Yeah, Armel going to zip forward. Raven was there with the stun. Celery trying to heal up, but Armel they're going to try now. Boom and Tofu. Heading up top, Scan is there. They know Raven is around, but Ace going to try for a blind spear. Not going to be able to get it off. He did choose not to throw the arena out either. So instead, they'll find Genuel. Just Boom and Tofu alone are enough for the control they have. Armel trying to jump to Raccio. Not going to quite catch it. He will kind of talk to himself there with that voice line. Down bot side, Jabs being left behind. So Boom will rush forward onto the Tide Hunter and they'll have Ace and Tofu to help out. Boom. Looking for his fourth kill of the game, and he's going to get it. Completely dominant. Every single time he shows up, he finds that kill for himself. He's been having a lot of presence just with a Maelstrom up. Well, Celery, sharpshooter. That's going to make it a lot easier to take him down. Genuel, the one to take the kill on the Weaver. Oh, Tofu can get in range. He's got the Fiend's grip. They are going to wrap around here. Boom. We'll be around as well. DJ, oh, chains are out. They're out of mana. Oh, no, he's going to just do it the old-fashioned way, but the Fiend's grip's going to connect. Boom says it all, John. It's an owl kind of moment. Perhaps this is the moment they can play. They will go for the smoke play now. Here we go. Armel going to zip forward. Who has he found? It's going to be Ace with the Vortex Raven. They'll stun him up. They might just leave Ace behind. Tofu is trying to help as the arena is going to be dropped. Sharpshooter. It doesn't connect, but it won't matter. They do pick up their kill here with Armel. And so instead, Tofu, he'll sharp top lane. Armel, Fiend's Rip is up. He's going to be very wary. He does see them with that Observe Ward just for a moment. Armel does back off, but no, goes back in. Instead, they'll try. Boom. Can he get a chains off? Armel does get chained up. Can they get within range for a Fiend's Grip? They might just... Genuel, the only one really showing on the map for Fnatic. Instead, they'll head up north towards the triangle. Gaiman not going to find anyone there either. Armel going to hang around the opposite side of the map. Gaiman, they're not giving up, though. They're still chasing him down. Armel, he might be spotted pretty soon as Diracio. No, Armel, he's going to zip in. He'll try for the fight. Ravage is there. Quick BKB up from Ace, but Diracio dropping so low. Boundless out. It's not going to be enough, but they've got Armel. Fiend Grip is there to hold him down, and Jabs will drop to Boom on the Ember. As Raven, he popped his BKB, but he cannot help out his team. He needs to run. Boom's on the chase. He does have chains up. He will lock him down and force out the Phantasm. It's a great fight for Game and Gladiators. They'll find a two for one. DJ, he's going to keep trying. Raven, still around. Double chains out. They might be able to keep this fight going. Ace, he does get a nice shield as DJ is going to give a third kill away now to Gaiman. Got an idea of how low this Roshan is. Armel, he can go for a zip in. He might have to go soon. There's your swarm out. They've got the vision perfectly on Roshan as Armel will zip through. He'll try. Aegis, Duraccio, he takes it away. Armel could not quick fa click fast enough as Boom will jump in and they've lost Raven again. Duraccio, he'll go for a bit more now, but DJ will bushwhack him up. Remnants forward, Boom, he wants the chains out. DJ was spotted, but Boom. He's not within range. I think the big concern right now for Fnatic is that they're not getting as much out from Raven as they'd want to. The CK doesn't feel durable. Johnny well does get caught out for a moment. Tofu's got no detection. 
Did he will? Oh no, he tries for a TP out, but they've caught him. Time lapse away. He is wasting a bit of time here on this Weaver. Durancio gonna have the vision with the tree dance. Vagrant in now out as well, but Genuel somehow still safe. Still somehow surviving, but eventually they'll lock him down. Rest the Fnatic has shown up. They are going to try for a defense. You've got Ravage up. Duraccio, he's going to be the first one taken down, but he's got his BKB. He's fine for now. Arena, it is placed defensively. Zarmel is going to be locked down. Boom, trying to blow him up. Jabs, he can't Ravage yet. Eventually, he'll throw it out. They'll force the fight. Celery, he will get taken down, but it's not the kill they wanted. That's not it. Gladius is just taking complete control on the map. Fnatic still have that tier one down. Oh, oh well, no, no, no. He zipped in. Tofu was waiting with the Shadow Amulet. They've got the damage as well. With the AoE Vortex, that could provide the setup there for the follow-through from Jabs and then the follow-through from GJ to give that opportunity for the damage from Raven. That's still a lot of farm away here, Mike. Oh, Mel. Thinking about zipping in on Duraccio. Duraccio will see him, but they will go right in for the Vortex on the Monkey King with the Bushwhack, but they're not confident. But they have enough damage to deal with him. He has the Aegis up anyway for another 10 seconds, but Armel trying to hold him down. Has he gone too far? He'll zip away. Boom, with the Deso. Wants to keep going. Will go on to Jabs and force another BKB out. His DJ, he's going to try for a sharpshooter. Overextends. They've got the Ravage. Duraccio, he's watching all of this, though. He's giving all the information away. Zayz, Spear is out. Big Ravage, though. Five heroes getting caught in that as they will rush in now. They're on to Ace, but the BKB, it's there in time. Raven, he's the one that needs to back off at the arena. Ace will hold him down. Raven, he wants to try to fight, but he has no chance. No choice in the matter. Armel will eventually find Ace, but now he's out of mana in the Fiend's grip. Tofu will hold him down. For the Gladiators, they're still free to just keep pushing. And for Fnatic, it's tough. I'm not sure what the angle is. It's real tough. Armel going to try Duraccio. Actually dropping very low. My drop. Glimmer Cape, oh. it's not going to be enough. They clearly still have the damage. Duraccio maybe tipping a little bit too early there on Chab. Fnatic, they are as a unit. Five-man smoke. We're on a 5v5 situation as Jabs will frontline. He's a little bit low on mana there for the Ravage. As Ace going to move in. Jabs, you can't afford to die. The BKB is there, but boom, he has a Deso and a double damage. He's got plenty of right click as he's waiting for another slide of fist. Jabs, still fine. Will walk away. They're unable to secure the killers. Now the arena is down, but it does not catch out DJ. In fact, they got the monkey king, and now the Ravage comes out. Jabs onto all five heroes, but can they take the team fight? Duraccio barely walking out of the there, the swarm, it'll give the vision. The spirit vest will take him out. Armel, he'll take care of it. There's the fiend grip, it'll hold Armel down. Where's Fnatic? They may have just thought died back on the storm. In fact, they're getting wiped out anyway. No matter how many people Jabs finds in the ravage, it just doesn't seem to matter. And look at them, John, they're just having a laugh, they don't even care. It's just been a dominant performance out from the gladiators from game one into game two. Fnatic. GG. They, they had some weaknesses in the draft there from Fnatic's end. Game one, lacking that control in their draft, hoping on the cooldowns.